there is something I really need to put you guys through. Yes, you guys might be surprised I am really doing this, but I really need to say it. It's not really that I'm a relationship therapist, but at least I know most things about relationship. Now, any relationship that is one-sided, bet you me, does not last. Let me tell you the gospel truth. Any relationship that is one-sided does not last one bit. Why am I saying this? This is the same situation Sarah Martins is finding herself now. Now, go back to the first day Sarah Martins started supporting Judy Austin. All up until this day. Has there been ever any day Judy Austin came out publicly to support Sarah Martins? Has there been? Sarah so Martins said Judy Austin has not done anything to support Sarah Martins. Even when Sarah Martins had issues with Amarani TV, nothing happened. Even when Sarah Martins had issues that she came on uh, on on live with that the phrase to talk about Jimmy Edosha and the rest of them, Sarah and um, Judy Austin did not say anything. Even when Sarah Martins has been drawn, dragged up and down, Sarah Martins did not say any um, Judy Austin did not say anything. Now it has landed to this point where Sarah Martins has had it up to the climax. Judy Austin is now seeing it as if she's a bad friend. I don't really go, I don't really get it. Judy Austin, what kind of a human being is this woman? First of all, let's take a short break. That is, go now and subscribe. If you've not done that, please subscribe, share, like, comment, turn on the notification bell, please. In that case, you will always get my notification, the notification of my video anytime I drop it out on this channel. Back into what I said. Sarah Martins, who is the friend of Judy Austin, alleged friend of Judy Austin, now has added up to here. Now she's looking for other means to specify, like other means to feel happy. She's taking happiness in her domestic staff. As she came out to celebrate her domestic staff for um, she said she's there, she's having um, celebrating her for being with her for five years, just as an anniversary uh, anniversary. Now she said, the joy and satisfaction I get when I look at the beautiful human, even though I am not perfect, but I know I have perfected her life in a manner she will never forget. It's five years anniversary to us comfort. In these five years, you've been nothing but a perfect human. Man, a sister and a friend and a staff. You came into my house as a domestic staff, but today I am celebrating you as my baby sister because you deserve it. Thank you for constantly loving my family as yours. Thank you for loving me genuinely, just as your big sister. Thank you for all you do. It's not easy to live with a total stranger for five solid years, but you didn't see me as a stranger. You took me as a family. That's why I have not stopped in making your dreams come true the little way I can. If you know me well, you will know I talk highly of my comforts and I will never regard her as a domestic staff but instead as a baby sister. Help me thank her for loving my family and I. Happy 5th anniversary to us, my baby, with love emojis. This is all coming from Sarah Martins. Now, Sarah Martins is being, like, she's being offended, she's sad to the fact that Judy Austin does not recognize her. Now, Judy Austin, what kind of a person are you? Now, let me warn, let me, let me, let me sound this as a note of advice to you guys. Whatever way, like, whatever way you find yourself, people tend to be in situationship, thinking that they're in relationship. Yes. That's the, there's a difference between being in a situation and being in a relationship. Situationship where you find yourself, like it's a situation is a, it's a friendship where you find yourself that you don't have a choice, that you just be there. But being in a relationship, it has to be two-sided. You understand? Have you ever seen a scale? Like having one side having the, the bigger weight. Have you ever seen the way it looks? That's the way a relationship is. The relationship of one, one person sorting everything in that relationship. It does not work. Relationship where one person is the one sorting everything, one person is the one showing the care, one person is the one calling, one person is the one buying, one person is the one doing everything literally. That relationship does not stand. Bet you me. It does not stand no matter how you try to hold it. It does not stand because naturally, psychologically, that person that is the one holding that relationship will get tired someday. That's life for you because everybody wants to be important. Everybody wants to, be, wants to feel loved. Tell me, let me tell you the truth. Everybody wants to feel loved. Everybody wants to feel important. 
in as much as I'm trying to make you important, in, in, as, much as, uh, in as much as I'm trying to make you feel okay, I need it. I need, it to, I need you to reciprocate it at some point in time in life. But the fact that some people forget that part is what breaks relationship. You always want to be there because of you are there in that relationship because of what you are getting. When that person is not doing that thing you, you want that person to do, you tend, that person, you tend to think that that person is a bad person. It's wrong. That's why most relationships break. Because you are there because of what you are getting. You're not there because of the person. You're not there because you like the person. You're not there because you love the person. You're not there because you can support the person. You're just there because the person is the one supporting. And you think you're getting material things. You're getting everything from that person. Parasitic relationship. It kills. Let's be very careful about it. Judy Austin is not even a good wife. She cannot even make a good mother. Neither can she even make a good friend. You could imagine. See, my Martin, you just brought yourself out just for the sake of somebody that doesn't even care about you. Now, look at where you've landed yourself. A lot of people will not, like, we don't really know Sarah Martins. Yes, she has, she's a Hollywood actor, actress, but people do not know her. Now, you coming out in the public is you coming out negatively. Now, look at the kind of insults she's bringing on herself just because she decided to support a bestie who does not have her best interest at heart. Drop a comment down this comment section and tell me what you think about this video. It is very important. Do not forget to leave a comment, okay? As well as subscribe. That is if you've not done that. I will just see you guys in my next episode. The good news is, you Edoshi has finally broken his silence. He has said something, and he, like in my next episode, you'll be shocked at what I'm going to bring to you guys. So stay tuned.